Not all software has good intentions. Malware is one of the many ways that cybercriminals take advantage of their victims. Unlike regular software, malware refers to a malicious program or file that causes harm to the user when opened. It can target a computer, network, or server, depending on its design. Malware takes many forms and is often disguised within other software so that the user doesn't know what happened until it's too late. Letting malware run wild can lead to serious problems, such as identity theft or fraud. It can even travel across networks and impact multiple devices if you don't catch it early. Here, we'll look at the different types of malware and why it can be so dangerous. For more cybersecurity content, visit our dedicated site at the link above or in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. Malware can be difficult to spot. Attackers want to trick their victims into opening dangerous files or programs, so malware is usually designed to blend in with other harmless messages or software downloads. However, common forms of malware include viruses, which work on their own to spread to other programs, worms, which self-replicate and spread autonomously, Trojan horses, which are disguised as legitimate programs to gain access to a system, spyware, which discreetly collects user information and activity, ransomware, which encrypts a user's data and demands payment, and others like rootkits, adware, backdoor viruses, and keyloggers. Once malware has infected its target, it can cause damage in the following ways. Data exfiltration, or stealing sensitive information. Service disruption, which can halt company operations and suspend critical infrastructure. Data espionage, which might involve logging keystrokes or accessing cameras. Identity theft, enabling fraud or impersonation. Resource theft, which involves using the infected system to power criminal activity. And system damage, like deleting and corrupting files. Some malware attacks will be obvious to spot. You might lose access to important files or systems, or you may get alerted that there is fraudulent activity on your private accounts. But at this point, it's too late. So how do you combat malware? One way is to install malware detection software on your devices. Another is to manually look out for any unusual activity, such as strange emails from unknown sources. At the organizational level, make sure every employee has access to security training so that they can keep their data and company data safe. But despite education and preparation, there's always a risk. So organizations should create a dedicated malware response plan. This is especially important at the corporate level, where a single malware program can corrupt devices across the network. By detecting the threat early and taking quick action, you can prevent the worst damage. Have you or your organization had any malware run-ins? Share your experience in the comments and hit that like button too.